you know, when all the communication routes, uh, highways, motorways, railways cross, it doesn't matter if you have a brilliant mayor or, or a not brilliant mayor. Uh, you don't even have to touch it. Just natural processes, structural processes, boom this business. And uh, Poland, because of many reasons, but mostly the geographical location, is just uh, one of the natural hubs. Uh, uh, Netherlands, similarly, as far as I'm concerned, a commune called Venlo is one of the most logistics intensive areas in Europe. And uh, this is also because of a very particular location. If we are located in the middle of a continent and in the middle of the country, which is in the middle of a continent, logistics, no matter what you do, uh, it becomes a significant element of the local economy. Yeah, but in terms of infrastructure, are there any plans for infrastructural improvements or, or investments? You know, uh, Poland owes, owes a lot to the European Union. After the very hard times of economic transformation uh, in the end of 80s and the beginning of 90s, the structural funds and financial support of the European Union allowed us to completely renew our uh, our infrastructure in uh, all segments. So the, infra the infrastructure is definitely an asset these days. However, there is so much to do, especially in the field of intermodal or multimodal transportation. So integrating uh, rail, uh, rail infrastructure, road infrastructure, and uh, also uh, cargo air movement. Uh, so this is definitely a field where we have some uh, field for improvement. Yeah. Uh, do you have some uh, certain figures in mind that you would like to achieve by 2000-something? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, right now we are in the middle of uh, preparing uh, three spectacular uh, industrial areas, industrial zones. They are mostly realized by... Uh, uh, at this moment, they are blocked by industrial developers, mostly Panantoni, Kilwood, and Prologis. And uh, in, in my, my dream scenario, by uh, 2028, so uh, seven years from, from now, uh, we would like to have all those industrial zones filled, both with infrastructure, both with factories, logistics centers, and with people. And, uh, you know, in terms of numbers, we would definitely like uh, our population to grow. Uh, I would definitely like to more exploit the direct cargo rail connection with China. Yeah. Uh, it works and it goes two or three times a week. However, uh, I'm fully convinced it does not fully exploit its economic potential. And I would like to definitely integrate it with our... Uh, with, uh, with the cargo infrastructure of our airport. Okay, and, and how could that be integrated? Uh, by connecting the um, uh, railway with the airport. Right now, it's not it's not uh, it's not connected. If the cargo terminal in Wood Airport would be connected to railway, in my opinion, it would be uh, it would be a huge strategic advantage. Can you explain how that what that would look like? Is for example, flights from China coming in by air and then uh, being moved forward by train? For example, and uh, or the other way around, or trains yeah. from China and went to air. Uh, when you look at central Poland, this is a place where all the logistics uh, players and um, uh, all, all, all companies that are big in those segments, FedEx, Amazon, uh, UPS, DHL, and also the commerce global uh, superpowers like uh, Zalando, Amazon, Alibaba, and many others. They have their either central or major uh, warehouse logistics uh, centers. And it, it, in my opinion, if we could combine the, the, the potential which lays in the railway connection with China and combine with the potential of uh, air cargo, mm. uh, I mean physically combine, because right now just the railway line does not go to the railway terminal. If it would go, uh, in my opinion, uh, it, could, it, it could be a very uh, unique selling point of, uh, of central Poland and city of Wood. Yeah, wouldn't it compete with each other? 
Uh, in my opinion, not, because all those um, logistics uh, tools or uh, communicational solutions, uh, however you call it, uh, they are complementary, not competitive. Uh, rail connection is faster than uh, sea freight, however, slower than air freight, however, it's cheaper. And it, uh, they, uh, they both service uh, slightly different types of goods. So, in my opinion, it would be a synergy, not a competition. Yeah. We're going to see uh, some examples of connections to China uh, by our next speakers. Um, how would you see Woods in five years from now? I would see as an uh, economically prospering, uh, significant size European city. Uh, right now, uh, we are in, um, in a pretty intensive moment of uh, economic development. I would definitely like to see a way broader uh, middle class. I would definitely like to see this population well here, because in the field of economic development, in reaching economic convergence and uh, making the society wealthier through economic competition, attracting foreign direct investment, I think this is the only tool to heal other structural problems, not only of Wuj, but also any other city in the world. Uh, people migrate because of job opportunities, people migrate following capital, and with capital come many other opportunities. When you look at other segments of the life of the city, uh, art, consumption, uh, any, almost any element. This is very closely combined with the level of economic development and the purchasing power of our population. I plan to reach it and to grow it by attracting as much quality type capital and as much quality jobs as possible. And in my opinion, uh, because of our location and our history and our assets, logistics and industrial segments, which are very closely connected with the rail freight uh, potential, are the tools to do so.